Good evening, everyone. I know what you're thinking. Craig, why are you sitting there at your desk? Don't you usually stand up at the start of the show so we can appreciate your long, lovely legs? <laughs> and maybe sneak a look at your uh, pants? <laughs> And they are nice pants. They are nice pants. Here's the problem. Uh, if you can't tell already, the lighting uh, is apparently uh, out in half of this. Uh, the, this whole part of the studio here is all, there's no room for an audience. There's a leak, uh, apparently. Uh, I don't understand. There's been a drought in L.A. for like two months. <laughs> What's the, the leak from the, the air conditioning unit? I didn't know we had an air conditioner. We have an air conditioner that's been leaking water. All the lights are dangerous. People can't s sit there. There's not enough light over there for me to stand there. There's barely enough light for me to be here. Uh, the horse is in uh, twilight uh, out there. Uh, Jeff, you're. Uh, I like the way that they put a rack of coats next to the fire. Yeah. yeah. This is great, man. The, uh, what, the, yeah. What's happening with you? Why the, the robot that runs on electricity is over by the side where the friggin' leak is. <laughs> what I'm saying is that I know what you're thinking, Craig. This show is usually a mess. And I agree, it usually is. But tonight, it's going to be an unholy mess. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be bad tonight. Very, very bad. Worse than usual. And I, for one, I'm delighted. What about you, I Jeff? can't wait. I I think it's going to be sensational, but the audience don't really think that so much. <laughs> oh, but I, you know what happened, though? I, you know when I said uh, we don't have uh, any room for the... There's like 25 people. Not, Lesbian Row isn't there. Yeah, Lesbian, yeah. I know. Look at that. Lesbian free. <laughs> and I don't mean lesbian free in a good way, as in lesbians be free. Just le le no lesbian, nobody. <laughs> That's a, that's a terrible show. No yeah, but I, I had an idea. You know why we don't have a band? Yeah. Well, behind the curtain, look what we did. Put, take away the curtain. The uh, Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's, the, it's the audience. Wow. It's a, hello, everyone. Uh, that's, uh, that's the audience that would have been sitting over there, sitting next to tiny little Drew Carey, who's interviewing wow. a giant uh, Justin Bieber head and a monkey. Or, or those are huge people. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Nice. They're enormous. We couldn't fit them in. Look, look at them compared to normal-sized Drew Carey. Holy crap. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be a rough one. So... Uh, so we'll take a commercial break. If anyone still, uh, you know, wants a commercial break. There's probably a few. Yeah. There's probably a few. That'll be all right. <laughs> and when we come back, uh, we'll uh, press on. And I don't mean press on like some kind of, you know, oh, <laughs> no way. Uh, <laughs> you know, we'll just, uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep going. The show must go on, Jeff. The show must the go, show go must on. The show must go Ray. on. I actually don't believe that, but CBS does. <laughs> So, uh, I'm glad that we got such an animated bunch of people to sit over there as well, next to the, uh, these people are clearly, they're going crazy! Yeah, they're out of control. They're going crazy! Are you wearing a flashlight strapped yeah, to your chest? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be right back, everybody, we'll be right back with the half Lit Show. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Move Free Ultra. Joint health support in one tiny pill. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, no, I have to do the whole thing like it's a regular show. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Welcome to Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the Late Late Show. I'm your host, Steve Craig Ferguson. Please, audience, please. <laughs> They're so rowdy. They're so you know, rowdy. Thing, everything's broken here, right? The lights yeah. are broken. There's half of the audience has to sit over there next to tiny Drew Carey. Everything's <laughs> going wrong. But luckily, the audience seemed to be on our side. Yeah, Jeff. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> They're not really. Anyway. It's a great day for America, everybody. It, it, yeah, there you are. Not a 
great day for uh, lesbian row and the people that were going to sit over there. They can't sit over there. God. Is that crime scene tape you've got? Got the hell? What's going on? What's, what's that? The hell is someone taking a leak? What's going on? What's, what's that? Is that? Is that for real or did you add that for some? Because you know what? Here's what I don't want tonight. I don't want your help. All right? Don't add little comedy things. It's bad enough, man. Do you believe this? You're trying to add production now to this show? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I'll tell you what. We've got the sound of water dripping, so we'll just add it. That'll help them. The hell? You know what that reminds me of? That, it's like people that heckle a stand-up and then say, I was helping you, yeah, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. you're not helping in the stand-up when you heckle them. Like, you know, stand-up comedians, when they get their act going, you're a stand-up, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. Right, yeah, you I get out there, and like. people go, oh, you suck. And the guy on stage isn't going, oh, this is really great. This is really helping me. You're not funny. <laughs> There's no lighting for half of your audience. Never mind, I'll, I'll be able to light the entire audience when I get the Tonight Show. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't even get my own show. I can't even get a look. Look at the poor horses out there. It's not even. It's not even daylight outside. That's weird because it is daylight outside. Too creepy, man. And the light is not working over there either. The sun isn't working. <laughs> I'm very, I feel very sad for the audience that's sitting over there with, uh, but I've got great news, audience that's been moved. You know that they've been, they've been moved. Yeah, they've been, they've been they're, relocated. They're, they're displaced, they're displaced people. Yeah, yeah, they're like, like nomadic or some sort of thing. <laughs> well, uh, Tuyen and Lisa have brought snacks. Oh, they got snacks. Tuyen and Lisa with snacks, everybody. Tuyen and Lisa. Say, things are starting to look a little better for the displaced audience and the audience who have behaved themselves and sat in their regular seats. Yeah, they're looking a little surly. Yeah, they're getting surly. <laughs> I, I, I want to send to Yen and Lisa up there with snacks, but I daren't. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't want to get you. There's a danger of electrocution up there. Oh, I'm glad you're laughing. <laughs> we could be electrocuted. <laughs> So we, I don't even know what we should do tonight. Will we do tweets and emails? What do we do? Yeah, we just hang out. You know, you know, do some, All right, we'll just hang out then. All right, well, uh, what's going on with you? No, things are good, man. You, uh, you doing some work at the house? You putting in those shelves? Or what's going on with that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't put up shelves and stuff. No, man. you said you were going to build like a library or something. No, I didn't. I didn't. I could, I, if I could build anything, I'd build a studio that worked, man. <laughs> If I, if, I, if I was in any way good with my hands, I'm good with my fingers, and when I say that, I mean sexually, but I'm not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You may well applaud. You may well applaud. It's a thing. It's a thing that I, when I came over from Europe, I brought with me sexual techniques that drive American women wild. <laughs> sure. But I'm a, I can't put up any uh, shelves. You get someone else to do it for you, maybe. If, if I could get someone else to do it for me, I'd have got it done. They put crime scene tape up and then added a special effect noise to help me. That's that's the way they do it. And then they put all these coats in front. Go oh, stop it! Hell, man. And they put these coats in front of the fire, which that's a fire hazard right there. So not only will I be electrocuted, I will catch on fire from these coats behind me. That's well, I think I think the logic is you're already dead, so it can't be that bad. No, no, I'm, I'm glad you care, man. You know, I was here for you. I was here for you. That's I'm not, no, I, I, I'm not saying I suggested to you, Stan. I don't have any... Look, if I had any say, we'd have cancelled the show and put on a cartoon. Well, that's right, that's right. You can't use your fingers that do wonders in the bedroom to move your friend from one side of the studio to the other. I got it, I got it. I don't want to damage my fingers. I use them for <laughs> sexual experimentation. They're quite lovely. Well, aren't you on wheels or something? Why don't you? You're a robot. Why don't you move? I can't move myself, man. Really? No. That's sad. Have you got some sad music for Jeff? <laughs>
No music. No, there you go. Oh, yeah. No, you know what? You know, don't bother. Don't bother with the sad music. Don't bother with it. You clearly were more excited about your drippy noise. <laughs> To put in the side. Stop the drippy noise. It's not funny. Nobody likes it. It just makes it just makes everyone want to go to the bathroom. And the, and the demographic of this show at CBS, anybody watching CBS already wants to go to the bathroom anyway. Our demographic is going to the bathroom right now in their diapers. <laughs> They clearly, you know, they've gone crazy over there, overcompensating by putting in things that we don't want. All these years, no one pressing buttons. Now they're pressing every friggin' button in that control. I wish they would press the button that would make the lights work and the studio not leak and, you know, for it to be daytime outside. That poor horse is scared. Look. I don't, I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of dark over there. Do you have a camera outside? It's not even dark outside. Yeah, look, there's outside. So, let me get this straight. Why not... Why not just make the hole in the roof bigger and the light from outside will light the studio? What the hell is wrong with you people? This would never happen if I wasn't an immigrant. You know that, don't you? That's true. That's true. We'll be right back every day. We'll be right back. lovely no no wait it's weird you notice that the audience up there doesn't want to applaud the audience no, over there no. they'll applaud about anything but they don't want to applaud the audience over there because they think the audience over there is overprivileged because to yen and lisa brought them snacks that's true but here's the thing the audience over there are safe you have uh, imminent death to look forward to because electricity might get you <laughs> kind of an upstairs downstairs thing yeah it is here. it's like it's like Downton Abbey yeah that's it's right it's like Downton Abbey these are the people that live up in the you know the lord and lady part and these are the the downstairs <laughs> servants <laughs> very attractive uh, servants. yeah I like the servants here yeah. what here what you be doing with my blouse master <laughs> here I I didn't know this was part of my job <laughs> Oh, never you mind that. Just sit up here by this leaky air conditioning unit. What's an air conditioning unit? Isn't it 1914? I didn't, I didn't know we had air conditioning. Never you mind that. Just stand directly under that. <laughs> Let it get all over your shirt. All the what? All over your shirt. That's the way. Oh. <laughs> See what you're doing. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. getting that like the housemaid is yeah. getting her blouse wet. All right, yeah, right. Yeah. I'll be the housemaid yeah, sure. getting my All blouse right. wet. Here, my blouse is getting wet. Oh, what a shame. We should get you out of that right quick, yeah? Yes, we probably should, mas Master. Is that no? <laughs> Master's like I dream of genie, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, what time is it, Jeffrey Pitt? It's Street Mail Time brought to you by CBS Plumbing. If your show's on after 12.35 a.m., he'll be waiting a while. <laughs> Don't applaud. I'm worried about the structural integrity of the building. <laughs> Might bring it down at any minute. I feel it buckling a bit. What, the building or? Yeah, my penis. All right, okay. Uh, this is, oh, let's do a jingle. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Why Are you ready? Yeah. Tweet and email time. <laughs> hey, you know what? You guys, uh, tweet and email time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what you see that? What the hell, man? What the one hell? Guy, one guy in the back goes, Yes! Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah! One guy! Th these people have been living on snacks. <laughs> snacks that you and I have paid for, America! These people here living on our snacks! We, we go to work, we pay our taxes, and these fat cats sit here taking our snacks and enjoying our... Hospitality and the 
looks from the horse. <laughs> this is the thanks we get. One guy in the background going, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pathetic. <laughs> he probably works here. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, this is from Dean. Uh, thanks, Dean. Uh, I can't read it. I can't read it. There's no light. Can't I know what it looks like at home. There's light. There's no real light. I can't see a thing. Who's there? Craig, is that you? Craig? <laughs> yes, it's me, Jeff. Where are, where are you, Craig? I'm speaking to you from the beyond. Oh, you, you passed away during the show, Craig? No, Jeff. You did, Jeff. And now I'm speaking to you from the other side. The only thing is, you're on the other side. That's the dead side, and I'm on the alive side. But you might be getting mixed up because I sound like I'm talking from the dead side. I am so confused. Um, this is from Susan in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Have you ever been there? Beautiful place. Oh, what a town that is. Beautiful town. What's your favorite part of Elizabeth, New love, Jersey? Love the grass. Nice grass. I, I, like, I tell you what I like. I like that when you go to a sporting event or a television studio in Elizabeth, New Jersey, when yeah. the bleachers are there, they use all of them. All of them, yeah. 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 They don't keep a section aside for electricity and water to pour onto dangerously. <laughs> This was the conversation this before was, They came show? to me and they said, hey, look, the studio's like, uh, there's a good chance the whole thing might go up. <laughs> but the audience seemed game. Was it, was it like a, like a, yeah, uh, yeah. And I... <laughs> and I said, well, heck, heck, if the folks want a show, I'll put one on. <laughs> Like I didn't a, say that at like all. Like an old showbiz pep talk? Is that the old was? showbiz pep talk. Look, you, Craig, you, you gotta do that? it. You gotta do it, Craig. The people are waiting for you. You gotta get out there, see? <laughs> now, that was weird. That got a laugh from them, but nothing from them. What the hell, man? That is very bizarre. Well... This must be a complete... See, rich fat cats love your humor. Yeah. But regular hard-working Americans can't stand your smug attitude, buddy. Well, to you in the audience, I say, kiss my ass. <laughs> and to you over there, I say, thank you. All right. I, well, you woke him up anyway. That's good for you, Jeff. <laughs> Susan and Elizabeth says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I like it when you guys play harmonica, but I feel ripped off when I don't get to see one of your jingles. Can't you do both? Uh, no. <laughs> Jeez, that was really picky, that yeah, We're not taking requests, man. Yeah, that's like, uh, can you guys dance for us? <laughs> this is from Lacey in Peoria, Illinois. You ever been there? Beautiful place. What about Illinois? Yeah, that too. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, how come the horse is always facing you? Maybe you should give some airtime to the backside. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe that tonight's the night. Come on, let's see it. everybody welcome back to the show where apparently this part is lit just that part yeah yeah can you see me oh yeah can you see oh, what i yeah. got going on oh yeah <laughs> my first guest tonight is a very funny comedian his third season of only in america with larry the cable guy premieres on may the 8th that's a clue to who he is yeah yeah <laughs> it premieres on may the 8th on the history channel take a look larry The cable guy, uh, uh, you could Do you still know how to work cables? You go up there and fix that. Well, the thing I can't figure out—it's not even raining outside. I know. I, I don't mean, know where the. Apparently, the moisture is part of the air conditioning unit. 
There's a large block of ice out, out there that slowly melts and keeps the building cool. Or, did you know that is also right where the toilet is <laughs> that I used about an hour ago? Did you do anything that might be frightening, or was it just... Evidently. Yeah. <laughs> Evidently, yeah, no, I, I, are you are you any good with your act? Maybe you should get up there and do something. Come on, you're right. This is the first time I have been worried about a drip since college. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say. No, that's all right. <laughs> May I? And two I, things. One, yeah. college. You went to college? You believe that? Yeah, yeah. Where'd you go? I did. I went to. Uh, Funny, Craig. I went. Uh, <laughs> I went to DeVry. Uh, <laughs> and I majored in drywallology at DeVry. Well, drywallology, I've done that. And it was awesome. No, I did go to college. Actually, uh, I was a big history buff, and that's why I'm glad on the, That's why I'm glad on... I was a big history buff, and that's why I'm glad that I'm on the History Channel. Yeah. i got to tell you this story. Uh, my freshman year in college, I had to do a paper. And I was always fascinated... Since you brought it up, I was always fascinated by pornography. I never talked about pornography. I have two pictures of you. Anyway, I was always fascinated by pornography, and I said to myself, one day I'm going to do a paper on the history of pornography. So I sat down at the computer one Sunday afternoon. Uh huh. Looked up some pornography to see. Punched in pornography. Next thing I know, it's Tuesday. <laughs> I know. And don't you touch and, me. And I have. I didn't Where have your no. dirty hands been? <laughs> don't worry, I didn't use that hand. Okay. All right. Don't, don't, you, you, you got to use your regular hand, is all I'm saying. Well, yeah, and you know what's good? Listen, I actually have a tremor in my left hand. I really do. I'm not, ma look, that's an actual, that's, now watch, hold on. Now I go like this, I'm pretty good, and then I go like that, my hand's shaking. That's the true deal. Are you, le are you left handed or and right handed? I'm left handed. So. Oh, so, the, yeah, there the, you go. The first time in my life I had to write with my right hand the other day because I couldn't keep my left hand straight. <laughs> I think some pixelation might have come into play there. Is that. <laughs> Uh, no, you're telling me about, yeah, is, it, is it a genetic thing? Is, hey, Jeff. Hey, man, how are you? Good to see you. Now, that's the pervert right there. The hell, man? He's not a pervert. Are he's just kidding? standing there in the dark the with hell? a flashlight. He's, right. he's a piece of metal pervert. The last time I was here after the show, he was out in the parking lot. Ooh la la. Prius. No, dude. That was me. Was that, that was me. I, I knew it was one of them. I was checking them out because, you know, I was seeing if that, you know, that whole hybrid thing works. It, it doesn't really. <laughs> How you, tell me about the show. You go around and do what? Uh, a strip? Yeah. No. It, well, you know, the funny thing about the show is I wanted to do, and, and honestly, I wanted to do a positive show about America. Right. That's what I wanted to do. This is a great show because America is, the, in my opinion, we have the best culture of any country. That's why everybody wants to come here. So we're full of different cultures. And so I immerse myself in everybody's culture. I let everybody see what's going on everywhere else. I meet great people. Uh, we do interesting things. We were doing the Chip history and of the Chippendales. Really? And that's why I was doing that, and I've uh, since changed the name to the Chunkendales. <laughs> and but I'm wait. sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that clip. No. Oh, God, seriously. You know I'm what? Sorry about that. No, people people like a man with a bit of meat. <laughs> that's true. The Although I have to say, it looks to me like you got a little less meat on you than the last time I saw you. I and have. You, I, yeah, you dropped a little bit. Well, was it the dance? Here's the, uh, I didn't lose any on that dance, are you kidding me? Right after that dance, I think I ate, well, ate like three chocolate cream pies. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, no, I have lost weight. I'm kind of, here's what I am. I'm like Oprah. Did you pass gas there? Is that what that was? Because <laughs> we can, we can probably add the special effect that's like, mm -hmm. like, yeah, like that. Oh, man. That's what I should have had. Yeah, yeah, go try it again. Try it again. Hold on. All right. But what I do is... <laughs> No, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, I think I... Oh, 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 don't, don't, no. Right. But, uh... Do you know what's interesting? These people like that joke, but these people over here... Yeah, I know. What is that? That's a, that's yeah. a stuffy crowd. Yeah. 
But I was, but I'm like Oprah. I get fat in the winter and I lose weight in the summertime. All right. And uh, that's, so, I think that's a bear. That's no Oprah. <laughs> so, but I, <laughs> but that's, does Oprah that's, sleep through the winter? I don't. I, I think she hibernates. I'm pretty nah, sure. I mean, she like goes through like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> and then it's springtime. <laughs> But you all, then I, the, here's the deal. The History Channel, the last three years, I've put on about 40 pounds doing that show. And so when the show's over, I got to lose weight. Oh, really? And that's how that works. How do you put on weight during the show? Because you go around to parts of America and enjoy the cuisine yeah, that, of different people. That's all we do ah. is eat. When you watch this show, we're doing like road trips through different states. And every time they show me in the van, I'm eating a box of vanilla wafers. <laughs> and so I think that's how I put on my weight. Why don't you just show the same shot over and over again and just shoot it once and then you don't have to eat the vanilla wafers all the time? <laughs> I wish I could do that. Yeah, I'll, be well, honest with you. I'll be honest. What's with the you. weirdest thing you ever ate? What's the, the, the like the, the the most odd thing you've ever had in your mouth? Uh, pumpkin flavored eating panties. <laughs> I didn't know you could get those in pumpkin. You get yeah. them in pumpkin? Yes, you can. With pumpkin flavored eating panties? Yeah, that's right. Is that a real thing? Like yeah. eating panties? Yeah, eating pants. You ever, you ever seen eating uh, underwear that you eat? You ever seen that? Why would you eat underwear? They're edible underwear. I don't want to eat it. It's sexy. It's not sexy. <laughs> not mine. You see my underwear, you're like, I'm not eating that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to eat your underbreches. Right. Oh, you mean ladies' undergarments? Yeah, you, uh, you've never seen edible underwear. No, sir, I have not. Oh, for Pete's sake. I got, for Valentine's Day, I got my wife five pair, and, uh, but I ended up eating three pair on the way back to the house. <laughs> They're good. They're good. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, eating pain. They're good. I had no idea. We'll be right yeah. back with Larry the Cable Guy. Welcome back, everybody. I'm just getting some interior design tips from Larry about, you know, fixing this area over here. That is a darn thing, though. I didn't yeah, I know. I just, I just fell apart. Man, well, you're making money in this studio. <laughs> <laughs> like, I moved into this studio about a year ago. They said, we got a big swanky new studio for you. It falls apart all the time. <laughs> I'm going to take it back. Is there a recall? Can you take it back? Is there a certain amount of time? No. Yeah, you were at the other one, weren't you? Yeah, at a whole the, different the, one? The, the little one where the lighting didn't work about yeah. three days a week. But at least it didn't leak. No, well, it did. But only when it <laughs> rained. To be fair, <laughs> this one seems to be able to leak when it's sunny outside. That's why I say go back to the other one. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, man. I, so, uh, I think you and I do have something in common. Oh, yeah? Uh, I've been trying to learn how to golf. Oh, yeah, I've been starting that, yeah. And they I've, said you're a big golfer? Yeah, well, I, I started it, because everyone golfed in Scotland, and I, I didn't want to golf when I was growing up. Right. Because I was, like, I was, you know, rebelling. Right. But I'm 50 now. I got no rebel in me left. You were I, rebelling? Yeah. yeah. I'm not playing I'm not golf. playing golf. You take your golf. I'm going over here and, and playing pool. <laughs> That's a rebel. I'm yeah, playing yeah. golf. I'm playing a different... Activity. Oh, uh, I gotta tell you though, I that that's one of the reasons how I lost my weight. I was walking golf courses. Golf is an exercise, Larry. Come on, man. Well, now I figured that out. I yeah. mean, I might as well pay somebody to kick me right in the crotch. You know what I mean? You I can mean, get that up in Hollywood Boulevard if you want. <laughs> it's Twenty-five bucks. Tell them I sent you. So, uh, <laughs> but but isn't it crazy though? I go out there. I mean, it's like golf is the cause of Tourette syndrome. Or yeah, something. a little bit. I mean, yeah, how yeah. many times a day do I you go? Are you cuss on a golf? No, oh, I know. I it know. sucks. I hate it. I want to freaking punch somebody in the face. <laughs> But I gotta play it. I know, man. You know, know. what I mean? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm right the, there with I you. I got the golf fever. Yeah, you know, I've got I've got golf fever too. I like to get my hand on a club and just walk around. <laughs> I'm telling I tell I, I sometimes at home I just take the club out of the bag and I just walk around with it, walk around. <laughs> just looking for a ball. <laughs> you might want to get that checked out. I uh, but it, but the only thing is it's so 
doggone expensive sometimes. It cost me 350 bucks the other day to golf. And that Where? On that, Mars? What the hell? That was just to pay the paramedic to get my foot out of the windmill. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, but, I, but, but, golf, but I, I love going out. I love the scenery. I love the different golf it's courses. Nice, yeah. But I can't stop throwing stuff and cussing. Well, You've got to relax. Problem. It's the whole thing. Relax. You know, I can't. I can't it. relax. I want to be a good. I want to be a pro. No, you, can't, you can't do that. <laughs> I want to be a pro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we're, we're out of time. Uh, we're out of time. Are we really? Yeah, yeah. So what do we do to end this deal? Some kind of a you want uh, you want to make out? <laughs> no is the answer to that. <laughs> I was about to say yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, I got some I got some frisbees. You want to throw frisbees at <laughs> my horse? I want to throw frisbees at no, no, we better. Let not. me yeah. I, let me throw a fris let me see if I can get a frisbee in the in the barn door. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Frisbees do that. in the barn door. All right, there's a bunch. Good luck, Larry the Cable Guy. Everybody. <laughs> Yes, is a beautiful actress who stars in Rectify. Ooh. Yeah. It's so on Monday nights on the Sundance Channel. Take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Abigail Spencer, everybody. Oh, Abigail. I'm so glad you're here. And I am so glad you're wearing a light-colored dress because we're having some lighting issues apparently as well. I've heard, I've heard. So you can't see my uh, eating panties. <laughs> Is that a real thing? Have you I, heard of I, that? I've, I've never heard of I that. I mean, I've, I've heard of edible underwear. Really? Yeah. Why would anyone want that? I don't know. I don't know. We have to talk to Larry. <laughs> well, I think it I did, delicious. but then I was. Well, he he eats it on the way home, though. Yeah, I know. Snack. I'm a car eater too. While I'm driving around. I'm snacking. I, yo, I like to yeah, eat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to eat. Yeah, you, you you don't eat that much. Look yeah. You. No, you're. No. Actually, <laughs> I got a pedometer because I was starting to get a little too sedentary in What's my that? life. What's that? Pedometer. What's that? Well, uh, Whoa, uh, uh, yeah. Actually, it's right here. I wear it all the time and it tracks all the steps so I can, like, you be just more. You took something out of your boobies. <laughs> <laughs> it's You're my new favorite. Oh, good. <laughs> it's called a Fitbit and I wear it all the time and it tracks all my steps. Really? Yeah. And then uh, you know how many times you've walked in yeah. a day? Yeah, so I have purpose on the planet. Because <laughs> I feel if I don't have it, I'm like, oh, I don't exist if I don't have more. I'm like, my steps don't count. So Th I Does it tell you the calories that you Yeah, you use? can. it's an app on your iPhone, and you can insert Or, or like, your smartphone, not necessarily your, your, an iPhone. Your smartphone. <laughs> yeah, it's an app on your phone. And you can you can put input everything. It tracks your steps, your calories burned, like how much food you're eating. I don't want that. That'd be like someone following you around. Yeah. Oh, I kind of like. Do you it. like Friends. people following you around? Um, it depends on who it is. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, you know, I heard you have magic fingers. Though. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there. I, I brought them over from Europe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so what's going on with you? This show looks great. Rectify. Oh, oh so this is the one they're all yeah. talking about. It's so good. I love it. It's a, it's about a, a southern family. I'm from a small southern town on the Gulf Coast of Florida, and it's about a man who's been on death row for 20 years, and then he gets released on a technicality back into society, and I play his uh, very fiery, very spirited sister, Amantha. Oh. And where are you from? Are you from the south? Mm -hmm. I'm from a, a really small town on the Gulf Coast. Oh, Florida. that's amazing. Drew, you, it's like your story. <laughs> that, it's like my story. Except... <laughs> Nothing about it. It's All right, okay, but you're from. <laughs> yeah. I, we shot in a, a really small town outside of Atlanta. It's about five hours away from where I'm from, called Griffin. Oh, Griffin. That's the, I love that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that, that kind of, we uh, were shooting right next to an alligator tanning factory. <laughs> because we, Alligators have to tan? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel so white. <laughs> 
<laughs> they do. But they, they, they do. use alligators for, oh, yeah, I guess they use them for uh, handbags. Yeah, for and handbags and, and other things like that. And in, in the town that we Did shot. Do we approve of that? I don't think we approve of that. I don't we? think we approve of yeah, that. Yeah, That's okay. why we were shooting down the street. But it was really funny because you, if you went the wrong way, it was like, what, rectify shooting this, like, glorious, hard-hitting drama. And then if you went the wrong direction, it was like, alligator tanning factory. So. Have you ever eaten alligator? I've never eaten alligator. But I, but in it my Tastes like hotel, panties. Does it really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that's true. I, I've never eaten either one. Oh, well, I think that's okay. Actually, that's that's not true. I'm not telling you. Oh, are you not? Oh. Yeah, I know. Which one is not true? <laughs> Alligator for legal reasons. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you uh, you're from the south and that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, but you live in LA. I do live in LA now. Do you mm -hmm. prefer LA? No, you must prefer the south. South's nice. I like I like it sometimes. I mean, I like living here too. I actually live around the corner. Oh really? Yeah, I probably walk home because I gotta get some steps in. So, yeah. Don't walk home wearing that dress. It's, <laughs> it's dark outside. <laughs> Yeah. It's not dark outside. <laughs> do you have the same problem with the, if you're near here? We have a lot of problems with the electricity in this neighborhood. Do you have that? Actually, yes. Oh, you do? Totally. Oh, because they always say it's it's not just here, it's all over. Well, I I, I mean, I literally do live around the corner. Well, I, don't, I like people following me, so. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's right. You don't live too close. But we do. I have, I have problems with electricity and some of the... What do you do? Do you uh, strap a, a flashlight to your chest like Jeff? <laughs> I'm probably gonna yeah. try it. It's a great yeah. look. You ever, uh, you ever wear Prius flavored Eaton panties? <laughs> <laughs> well, I drive a Prius, so I'm. You do? You drive? Are you, oh, very, yeah. are you very ecologically uh, minded? Are you I like, try. I think mm -hmm. as, as much as possible, try to lower that carbon footprint, even though I'm walking a lot more. That's good, but walking <laughs> in LA is not a popular no, pastime. Not a lot of people it's, do it. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been really funny because I'm actually making a point of walking around, like not getting my car, and I'm walking a lot of different places, and I'm like the Lone Ranger just walking the streets, and people are like, are you okay? What's going on? Yeah. With you? Like, people, what happened? <laughs> yeah, people will be concerned. I'm concerned about you. No, thank you. You don't want to be walking around here with the electricity <laughs> going out and <laughs> people looking for pumpkin flavor. Yeah. Leaks and it's dark. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> ah, never mind. You'll be all right. <laughs> Do you practice a self-defense technique? Um, nope. I've, I've boxed a little bit, though. I, I, w I got into a little bit of boxing, and it yeah. did make me feel much safer in my life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you can yeah. box, that's good. What yeah. about the kickboxing? You ever do the kickboxing? I've done, I've, I've done the kickboxing yeah. before, and I liked it very much. But it does. It makes me feel, I think, a little bit more confident than I yeah. actually am in the self defense. Yeah, if, if you can kickbox in that dress, I uh... <laughs> just kick it. Yeah, kick whoa, it out. see, right there. That I that'll just... probably set your thing yeah, off. Yeah, but yeah. Dude, that's like the, the whole thing. Because <laughs> Lord knows it set mine off right there when you did it. Abigail <laughs> <laughs> Spencer, everybody. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? just proves the old adage that no matter what crap is happening in the studio, the show will still remain substandard. CBS cares. They do, just not about this show. <laughs> Good night, everybody.